Hey everyone, today is a really big day because EcoFlow just sent me their new Delta Pro 3 power station. In this video, I'll cover everything that's new, compare it to the Delta Ultra that I have, and do real world testing to tell you how it performs. Let's get into it. The Delta Pro 3 has an all new design language on the outside with these really futuristic looking silver side panels that are very angular. This is definitely a bigger unit than the original Pro because of its larger inverter and battery. The overall design is really clean and simple with all the outputs on the front panel and the inputs on the back panel. The front has a super clear display that I really like the design of because you can read this from across the room. And they keep the same front and back handles with these nice protectors on them to make it easy to move around. This does include the bottom handle and rear wheels to make it really easy to move this around on a flat surface. It's definitely a two person job when you're going up and down stairs or on uneven surfaces because this weighs over 110 pounds. Let's look at the big upgrades to the Pro 3 that you need to know about. So the first big upgrade is this now supports 240 volt two phase power in a single box. The previous version of the Pro required that you bought two Pros and connected them together to get two phase output. There's an all new 4000 watt pure sine wave inverter that can handle up to 8000 watts peak. You can scale this up even further by connecting two Pro 3s to their 50 amp hub to double the amount of AC output to 8000 watts continuous. Or you can connect up to three Pro 3s into their smart home panel and get up to 12,000 watts of continuous AC output. So this thing is definitely scalable to handle any sort of home backup needs. In fact, at 12,000 watts, this is just as big as a whole home generator like a Generac. The second big upgrade is the UPS feature is now three times faster. It will switch from grid to battery power in just 10 milliseconds compared to 30 milliseconds in the original Pro. That means that sensitive electronics like computers or web routers will definitely stay up when the power goes down. The third feature is the batteries have been upgraded from a 3.6 kilowatt hour battery pack to a four kilowatt hour battery pack. The new battery runs cooler and is now rated at 4,000 cycles for an 11 year lifespan. They're also IP65 rated, so they're waterproof, dustproof, and fire resistant. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of the expansion batteries for the new Pro 3, but they look amazing. The new four kilowatt hour expansion batteries are miles better because they're smaller, stackable, and have low profile connectors. The previous version took up a ton of floor space with bulky cables and non-stackable units. You can add two expansion batteries for 12 kilowatt hours of total storage or connect three Pro 3 units to scale up to 36 kilowatt hours for massive run times. If you've invested in the original Delta Pro system, those expansion batteries are compatible with the Pro 3, but not vice versa. The fourth big upgrade is on cooling. So EcoFlow took all the technology that they developed in the larger Ultra and applied it to the Pro 3. They use dual air ducts and intelligent cooling to make the Pro 3 whisper quiet. They claim 30 decibels of noise when running a 2000 watt load, which is completely silent. And that's a huge improvement over the first generation that had very loud fans that would kick on even when running small loads. The fifth upgrade is on solar. It now has a 2600 watt solar capacity split between two different MPPT solar charge controllers. In addition to the 1600 watt high voltage solar input that the original Pro had, there's now a second 1000 watt low voltage input that's ideal for smaller portable panels. So on paper, this ticks all the boxes of the things that I had hoped that they would upgrade with the Pro 3. It's an impressive and polished system that comes with a five year warranty and is packed with safety features. The Delta Pro 3 retails for $3,699 and the expansion batteries are $2,599. At launch, EcoFlow will include a free 400 watt solar panel or $500 coupon with the purchase of a Pro 3, and you can save even more by bundling. Check out my links in the description for extra savings. The Pro 3 has every possible AC plug you might need to connect it to your electrical panel. For 120 volts, there's a TT30 RV style 30 amp plug, and there's also four 120 volt plugs for standard appliances. For 240 volt output, there's an L1430 and NEMA 620R outlet. You can easily plug the Pro 3 into your electrical panel using the same power inlet port that you would use to connect a gas generator. You can connect it to a transfer panel 
or energize an entire panel with an interlock or plug it into EcoFlow's Smart Panel 2 to completely automate your backup needs. Let's jump into some real world testing to see how well the Delta Pro 3 performs. To test it in a home backup situation, I connected this to my Reliance 10 circuit transfer panel. It's as simple as connecting the 30 amp 240 volt plug that I use for my Ultra right into the front of the Pro 3, turning on the AC power, and I'm in business. It only took maybe 15 to 20 seconds to set this up. I use the Pro 3 to run part of my house off grid every day for a couple of weeks. I ran a fridge, 2000 watt microwave, kitchen lights, hot water heater and boiler, and air handlers. In my output tests, it easily ran its 4000 watt rating for 20 minutes straight without even breaking a sweat. The whole time it was incredibly quiet too. I pushed it well beyond its rating and it was able to run larger loads for up to a minute before it overloaded, so there's very good headroom on this unit. I was really curious if this could run my big 4 ton AC unit with soft start and my standard 3 ton unit. I was surprised to see they both worked, but the Pro 3 would overload when larger appliances kicked on at the same time, so it was right at the edge. It's impressive a portable unit can power big loads like this, but it's not very practical unless you have extra batteries for decent run times. With such a large inverter, I wondered how efficient it would be, so I tested the output capacity by running an 800 watt AC load for five hours to completely drain the battery, and I measured 3,990 watt hours, which is 97% of its rated capacity. So this is an incredibly efficient inverter, at least for 120 volt output. I also left the AC on with nothing connected to measure standby losses, and it uses about 1% per hour at idle with 120 volts or 240 volt output, which is a little better than average. Although AC output is probably the main use of the Pro 3, it does include some high power USB outputs and DC outputs. There's a pair of 100 watt USB-C ports that support Power Delivery 3.0 and a pair of 18 watt USB-A ports that both worked great in my tests. They delivered around 200 watts total and they'll really come in handy during an outage to keep phones and other small electronics topped up. They also include high power regulated 12 volt DC output to let you run mini fridges, portable diesel heaters, and other large DC appliances. There's a 5 amp 5521 port and a 30 amp Anderson power pole port that delivers 360 watts of power. The DC power had a very steady voltage, so the regulation works really well. Now I didn't test DC efficiency like I did with AC because the battery is so large and my tester is limited, so it would take forever to drain the battery. Its small footprint and 30 amp regulated DC output also makes this a really good option for camper vans and RVs if you want a plug and play solution. You have a lot of high power options for recharging the Delta Pro 3 and each port is on the back hidden behind a slick set of covers that can retract into the unit. You can wall charge at 1800 watts from a standard wall outlet. Mine took two hours and 34 minutes to charge to 100% and during that time it was very quiet at 38 decibels. If you have a 240 volt outlet or an EV charger, you can charge it up to 3600 watts if you use a special adapter. I use this adapter to plug into the 240 volt output on the Ultra and was able to charge at an impressive 4000 watts and it topped up the Pro 3 in just one hour and 15 minutes, which is very impressive. It was also very quiet at just 41 decibels. You can also use EcoFlow's new 4000 watt dual fuel smart generator to recharge this quickly and efficiently from gas or propane. No matter how many batteries you have, I really think it's smart to have a generator as a backup for your backup. And this generator is a really great choice if you want to recharge this quickly. You can plug this into your car's cigarette adapter to DC charge at 100 watts. That's going to take days to recharge, so EcoFlow's new 800 watt alternator charger is a perfect accessory for the Pro 3 because it will recharge in about 5 hours. Lastly, solar charging has been seriously upgraded with a pair of MPPT solar charge controllers, just like the Ultra. There's a 1600 watt high power solar input that accepts 30 to 150 volts, and a second 1000 watt low power input that accepts up to 60 volts. I have a rooftop array with six 330 watt residential panels that's 120 volts and 20 amps and that worked great for the high power input. I have a pair of 330 watt ground mounted panels that I plugged into the low PV input and saw decent output. Together I can pull down a solid 2000 watts on a sunny day and fully recharge the Pro 3 in about two and a half hours. All the features and advanced settings of the Pro 3 can be controlled with EcoFlow's really slick smartphone app for Android or iOS. As much as I like the Delta Pro 3, there are some things that could be improved. 
First, the USB-C are 100 watts, and they really should support power delivery 3.1 at 140 watts for such a large and premium unit. And ideally, it would have four USB-C ports because they're so popular. I also think the solar voltages are a little lower than I'd like to see, which really limits the amount of panels I can connect and how I connect them. Especially the low power input of 60 volts is very restrictive. If it was closer to 80 to 100 volts, it would let me use more kinds of panels and wire them in different ways. Same with a high solar input. It would be better if it was 200 to 250 volts to handle larger rooftop arrays of residential panels. I also think for such an expensive unit, it should include the solar adapters in the box. I really appreciate the high power 30 amp regulated DC output, but it's kind of disappointing that it doesn't include a cigarette port to just make it easy to plug in a mini fridge or other quick appliance. Unfortunately, you're gonna to need to buy an adapter or make your own, that's kind of a hassle. When charging at 240 volts, it actually shuts off the AC output, which means if you're hoping to fast charge this with a gas drainer while running loads, it won't work unless you drop down to the 120 volt input at 1800 watts. The last thing you need to know is that you can't use 120 volt and 240 volt output at the same time. If you click on the 240 volt output, the 120 volt shuts off and vice versa. The Ultra does not have this constraint, so this is a limitation strictly with the Pro 3. For home backup scenarios, this is not a problem at all, but if you're using this on a job site and you wanna plug in a standard appliance at 120 volts and a high power appliance at 240 volts, you can't do it. Overall, I'm very impressed with the Delta Pro 3 and I do think it's a massive upgrade over the original Pro. A lot of you are probably wondering what the difference is between the EcoFlow Delta Ultra and the Delta Pro 3. And they're actually very different products for different use cases. The Pro 3 is definitely much better as a portable product because it has a built-in handle and wheels, and it's a little bit easier to move around. The Ultra is primarily designed for whole home backup, and the idea is that you'll set this up in your basement or garage and leave it. It does have this really nice wheeled base that makes it easy to move around, and they do offer a trolley with wheels that makes it just as portable as the Pro, but it can only hold one battery unit and one inverter. In terms of output, the Ultra is much more powerful because it has a 7.2 kilowatt inverter, while the Pro 3 has a four kilowatt inverter. So it's almost twice as powerful. Both support 240 volt output from a single box, which is great. In terms of batteries, both have really high quality LFP cells for long life and good safety. The Pro 3 has a four kilowatt hour battery, as well as all the expansion batteries. On the Ultra, there's no internal battery and each of the battery modules are six kilowatt hours. So this is a 12 kilowatt hour system. This is a four and both of them are very expandable. As far as solar charging is concerned, the Ultra is actually much more powerful. Both have a pair of MPPT solar chargers, but the low power input on the Ultra is actually the same as the high power input on the Pro 3. The low power input on the Pro 3 is actually more equivalent to what you would see on a Delta Pro Max. The high power input on the Ultra is much better. It can handle up to 450 volts and is perfect for large solar arrays on your roof. Well, I would say the Pro is much better for smaller ground arrays and portable panels. Both of these have 30 amp DC output and 100 watt USB-C output as well. So they're roughly equivalent there. They're both excellent options. I would say the Pro 3 would be perfect as a replacement for a portable generator on a job site or just to back up key appliances during a power outage. The Ultra is much better for whole home backup where it can run essentially your whole electric panel and is extremely scalable. And this is much more equivalent to a whole home gas generator. Both of these are excellent options. It really just depends on your use case and how much scalability and power you need. Overall, I'm very impressed with the Delta Pro 3, and I do think it's a massive upgrade over the original Pro. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments if you think they made all the improvements they needed to to keep its top spot. All right, everyone, till next time. Thanks for watching.